NBC New York generally does probably the most wide range of projects. We have projects from beauty finish um, to high-end creature work, um, full-on photorealistic um, effects, um, the run-of-the-mill explosions, uh, water effects. Um, so the scope and range is probably huge. Why do burgers taste better with Bush's baked beans? We have invariably become the creature powerhouse. Not only our MPC film unit, also our MPC advertising unit, which does a lot of creature work. Um, and Houdini has been our super tool in, in that regard. At MPC New York, we're using character effects ranging from feathers, uh, cloth, fur, um, muscle simulations, and more. For bush baked beans, we had to create a talking dog. Like, I have fur and you have... Lots of balls. We were using the footage from the real dog and replacing his muzzle. It was quite a challenge to match the CG with the real dog. But as only that part was CG, then it had to blend seamlessly with the real dog. Hojini was very helpful on that part, like the grooming tools and the, the new procedural tools for it to paint out the clamping maps on the fly and then uh, redo it as we have like uh, that visual feedback of what's happening and to, to create the right flow and appearance of the fur. It was really good to use Hojini on this project. Hot diggity dog. I recently worked on a project uh, for McDonald's and one of the tasks was to create a photo real CG goat. It was an interesting one because he had to play the piano. We knew we wanted to create and use the new tools in VG17. It was really great because like, it was an amazing opportunity to use Vellum as a fur dynamic tool and save our asses. Can I say asses? <laughs> we kind of scratch the older tools we use for fur and say, okay, let's go off the shelf with Houdini fur tools, and it worked great. On top of technical directors and effects, um, Houdini, with its access over the last few years, we have Houdini artists who contributed different disciplines well within Houdini itself. So we have our, our, our entire character pipeline is the heavy lifting happens in Houdini. Um, we also have lighting and rendering artists who have totally migrated to Houdini. So this means that our, our, uh, the, the, the advantages of Houdini, which we've been seeing with effects, are bleeding into character effects as well as lighting. So we could, we could expand on the proceduralism. Uh, so we've been able to tackle shots faster without having to like, you know, leave, leave our package of choice and able to deliver stuff faster as well.